Anurag Vineet Zoya, lovely to sit down with you in Toronto. I have to tell you that I know what the headline of your Mukabaz reviews will be. Packs a punch. Anna. Yeah. Sab yehi bolne wale hai, correct? Anurag, tell me a little bit about the origin of this film. Uh, it's based on true incidents. Yeah, it's a, it's actually it's a very st- kind of a strange story. So Vineet has been around for a long time. And Vineet was like desperate, like why don't I get much larger roles? So Vineet one day decided to sit down and write a script. And Vineet, having like being a bouncing board with me for many years, you know, he wrote a script with his other two writers. And when they wrote a script, it was mostly a sports movie like a Rocky and all that. So he went around for some time. When he came to me, to what who do we go to with the script? So I read the script and my only question was like, you know, show me one Rocky kind of a champion in India. Indian sports are not like that. So why, why we get into these fake things? There is one very incidental thing in the film which caught my attention, which was extraordinary. Which was about what really Indian sports, uh, sportsman is all about. The reality. The reality, when they, they, they do it for the government job kind of a thing. So I held on to that. I said, you know what, I would direct the film. So he was trying to figure out where to go to. I said, but I have conditions. I said, my first condition, I'll rewrite the elements of it. I need to research, I need to meet people. Second condition was, I will not make this film if you don't become a real boxer. I'll not do fake boxing. In, like Indian boxing, we slap people and we call it boxing. So he immediately packed his bags, went on a training. The coach that he met, and I started speaking to the coaches, the story that emerged of Indian sports was something else. It was heartbreaking. How Indian sportsmen, how the sports system in India has never created a sportsman. Every single sportsman worth their salt in our country, be it Sindhu, PV Sindhu, or be it the Dangal girls, or be, they've all come out of an individual passion, either of the coach who's been a sports disgruntled sportsman before, or a father. It's individual passion. Mother, the system has not created anyone. System has only destroyed. Sportsman in our country. So, when he, he, aapne, when he says ki you became a boxer, how did you become a boxer? But the screen is not that you are an authentic boxer. But what did it take? Uh, real life, I was going to go to the show. 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 I was going to और वो मार के चले जाते थे और तीन पंच दूसरी जगह से लैंड कर चुके होते थे और मैं सोच ही रहता था सोचता था कि अरे राइट आया मैं निकला नहीं मैं मारा नहीं कब मारूंगा तो शुरू में मैं उनको बोलता था कि फेस थोड़ा सा बचा के एक्टर हो यार और वो खुद भी बचाते थे बाद में दूसरे ही दिन ब्लड आ गया और पंच लगा सीधे ब्लड आना शुरू हो गया मतलब ऐसे तो मतलब ये चलता जाएगा सिलसिला और जो सर ने बोला था कि बॉक्सर नहीं बनोगे तो पिक्चर नहीं बनेगी मतलब 17 साल हो गए अभी और कितना मैं गया मैंने जो बॉक्सर्स थे जिनके साथ ट्रेन हो रहा था उनको बोला मारो कहां पर पटियाला तो उन्होंने बोला कि पाजी क्या कर रहे हो नाक देखो हमारी ये टूटी हुई है इधर देखो फटा हुआ है इसकी एक आंख से थोड़ा कम दिखता है इसका जा गया हुआ तो ऐसे अगर हो गया आपके साथ तो करियर तो आपका बनने के पहले खत्म हो जाएगा लेकिन जो मेडिकल की पढ़ाई की है मुझे समझ में आता है जब आप ऐसी सिचुएशन में होते हो जो जिसे आपने पहले कभी फेस नहीं किया तो आपके भीतर से कुछ ऐसी चीजें होती हैं जो बिल्कुल नहीं होती हैं तो मैंने थ्रो किया खुद को उनको बोला मारो जब पंचेस मुझे लगने शुरू हुए तो आए दिन ब्लड आना आए दिन ब्लड आना मुझे नींद नहीं आती थी धीरे धीरे बॉडी ने सपोर्ट करना शुरू किया मुझे पंच दिखते थे और फिर बॉडी मूव होनी शुरू तो वो फिर होना शुरू हुआ और कोचेस को खुद सरप्राइज होने लगा कि उनका ये कहना था बॉक्सिंग 16 17 साल की एज में शुरू नहीं होती क्योंकि न्यूरोमस्कुलर रिफ्लेक्सेस आपके कभी डेवलप नहीं होंगे तो वो बहुत ही आ, मुश्किल है वो हां वो खुद सरप्राइज थे कि ये क्या हम लोग देख रहे हैं बिकॉज़ पंचेस आते थे मेरी आंख खुली रहती थी तो मैं निकल जाता था एंड हम थोड़ा पागलपन वाली ट्रेनिंग थी मतलब हमने पूरी ट्रेनिंग डॉक्यूमेंट की है एक साल one year हाँ एक साल गांव में रहा एक साल गांव में रहा और बॉक्सर बना और फिर and then you started shooting मतलब मेरी रिब टूट गई ट्रेनिंग में कट लगे 20-25 बार मैंने ब्लड टेस्ट किया और फिल्म में भी हम लोग ने ऐसा ही किया मतलब फिल्म में जो बॉक्सर्स हैं they all real boxers 
मतलब यू आर टॉकिंग मतलब डिफेंडिंग एशियन चैम्पियन जिसने अपना टाइटल अभी वापस डिफेंड किया इज फाइटिंग हिम इज फाइटिंग रियल बॉक्सर्स दर इज नो स्टंट मैन दर इज नो स्टंट कोरियोग्राफर्स दर इज नो बॉक्सिंग कोरियोग्राफर्स दे वेंट इन टू द रिंग मैं बोलता था बॉक्स करो वो लड़ते थे तो कभी डर नहीं लगा विनीत नहीं एट ऑल नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं बल्कि जब भी नीरज गोयट जो डब्ल्यू बी सी एशिया का चैम्पियन है और तीन बार लगातार बेल्ट उसी के पास है एशिया में और दीपक तनवर जो ओलंपिक के लिए हमेशा जो दो बेस्ट बॉक्सर होते हैं उसमें वो रहता है बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली क्या नहीं पाया बट ही इज़ इंटरनेशनल बॉक्सर जब उनके साथ फाइट हुई तो दीपक के मैं माई रूम रात को और आके ऐसा सर पकड़ के लेट गया लग क्या हुआ दीपक बोला भाई जो मार है तुमने लेफ्ट हुक तब से वो मरी मुझे तो मैं मैं खा नहीं पा रहा था जब नहीं जबड़े पे लगी थी मुझे तो उसका मुझे इधर आया था तो मैं खा नहीं पाया थी मैं लिक्विड पे था तो ये लॉक हो जाता है ट्रेनिंग So I mean, it was. Is he tough to work with? No. <laughs> no, never. I'm not. No, I'm not. The conditions that I shoot in yeah. are tough. Are tough. But all the performances are so good. Of course, the two of you, but also Ravi Kishan, also Jimmy Shergill. I'm not. What was your brief to them? No, it was a very tough casting. Because for the two characters of Ravi Kishan and Jimmy, these two I had in my mind even before I sat down on the script when we were doing our draft. So he had already gone into training before we did the draft because he went the same day as it is. गाड़ी में सामान डाला चला गया. गाड़ी में सामान डाला. Because उसका था कि अपने box अब जल्दी बन जाओ नहीं तो फिल्म नहीं बनेगी. And with her, because she doesn't have a film experience, so after I finish the script. I pushed her into training herself because the idea here was that I don't like a lot of sign language we normally use in our films. I think it has to become your language. So she trained very hard with Sangeeta, and the idea is that if I ask any question, you should be able to answer in sign language. You become completely fluent. Yeah. yeah now she has like you can talk to her and she'll speak to you in sign language. So That's amazing. Hai. So so it becomes part of you, which she did very well. With casting with Ravi Kishan, Jimmy Jimmy Shegel was the last one to be cast because we could not find an antagonist, and casting Jimmy Shegel was against the type. And plus, it was not everybody is so used to me doing this casting. I was saying whether he will be able to pull it off or not, which he did. But somewhere, Mukesh believed very much in him. I believed in him, not as much as Mukesh, but we started interacting with Ravi because Ravi is so flamboyant and he's so like he's so unlike the character he's in the film. तो मैं तो डर गया था आई टू लिटरली मेक रवि किशन रिकॉर्ड ऑन कैमरा दैट ही गिव ऑल ऑफ हिम सेल्फ टू द फिल्म ही विल लाइक यू नो सरेंडर ही विल गो थ्रू माई प्रोसेस ही नॉट कम इन एज रवि किशन सो ही रिकॉर्ड इट ऑन कैमरा बिफोर वी गॉट आई टेक अ सॉल मोथ टाइप बिकॉज फॉर मी इज लाइक आई एम डीलिंग विद एक्चुअली इफ यू लुक एट इट रवि किशन एंड जिमी से गिल Are two individual superstars who have literally given rebirth to two different regional cinemas. One is Bhojpuri, one is Punjabi. Yeah. I'm talking about these two regional superstars. They're not normal actors, and bringing them into the film to play character roles, and they're two very strong character roles, very political in nature, very very. They're non-fluffy. Ravi Kishan has only done fluffy roles. <laughs> So for him also, I had to use and manipulate him. But when he came in, he gave it his all. You know, as I was watching the film, I was thinking, Anurag, ki, his story is so much your story, in a sense. <clears throat> you know, this constant struggle with the Bollywood establishment, yeah. your stubbornness. You know, in the way his character is just so stubborn. Like, what would it take for him to not be confrontational? But he is confrontational. Yeah, and not give you love for cinema. <laughs> <laughs> not you <laughs> nobody I'm can not take you sunay na way exactly did you have a sense of that did you connect with that character i think that subconsciously it happens somewhere 
I think subconsciously the stubbornness kind of translates into the character, not giving up on something you believe in. Yeah. It's not, I'm not very conscious of it. Like when you say that, I start thinking like, did I do that? <laughs> but as a, I don't know, everything is kind of subconscious. There are lots of things because, see, kya hota jab film likha tha na, I was so, I was in a very confused state of everything that was happening around. And the film is sab, sab kuch subconsciously filtered in kya hai. Whether the political atmosphere, the suddenly return of such strong casteism which surfaced. It was always kind of, it was like a dormant volcano that again exploded, again became active. So it was all subconscious, it was there. And all those things kind of found their way in, in a very natural way. They were not forced into the film. And then I started taking things out consciously because I knew very consciously this film, I made sure will not have a single abuse and I won't let my actors improve because a lot, a lot of time people accuse me of putting a lot of abuses which is actually actors improvising and they think they can get away with anything in my film so they add it. So in this <laughs> film, <laughs> uh, so in this film I did not let anyone put in an abuse. I said consciously avoid any kind of bloodshed because I said we are trying to make a much larger point. Yeah. And you do. It is yeah. a very um, hard-hitting social critique. Yeah, it as is well. like a socio socio-political drama. Jo Bimal Roy, Raj Kapoor, banana, karte the. Hum log pehle karte the. But this, for me, this film, I have more of a Raju influence in a very gritty drama than having my own Ram Gopal or Vine Films. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Anand L. Rai is the producer on this movie, and I read an interview in which he said that. Um, people go through a phase and sometimes they need to have a bypass to come out of that phase and I am Anurag's bypass. Yeah. What did he mean? How has he collaborated with you? He collaborated with me by believing in me. You know, for me it's very difficult. With every film what happens is, now it's been so long. Like I'm literally, I'm 25 years in the industry. I might be younger in age but I've seen it to most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally, I say, I'm senior to Raju, I'm senior to Vishaji ji, I'm senior to everyone. I call them all G, but I'm senior to them. So, the thing is, with every film, I'm like, if a film works, they want me to do the same thing again. So, when you're trying to address something new, everybody's always scared. So, they want to make it safe. And especially when you have done a film like Bombay Bullet and Raman Raga, so everybody's like, and why, why, why can't you do this film with, say, a bigger star? Play it safe. And for me, that doesn't drive me because in the process of playing it safe, the film never remains what it was meant to be. When we start playing it safe, then we become so safe that it literally becomes diabetic. So I did not want to go there. And I just need someone to believe in me. I mean, every time somebody stood up and said, you know what, do your thing, I've actually gone out and created a film. Which is what I did. That's all I need. That's what he did. That's what Anand Rai did to me. Anand Rai stood up at a point when there's so much going wrong. And he said, you know what? He actually approached me to allow, ask me to read Man Marzia. Because he said, you know what? This film, I want you to read because the writer thinks you're the one person who will understand it. And Man Marzia spoke to me very strongly. I saw in it what I, I don't think a lot of other people saw in it. I said, I would love to do this film, but I'm trying to do this one right now. So in my system is Mukhabas. So let me first finish Mukhabas and I'll come to this. He said, let's do both together. And without condition, he, he did not ask me to replace my actors because my actors were already in training, which everybody else had done. Okay, like, you know, can we get bigger stars? This film can get bigger stars. And that. He did not ask me to replace my crew, my new music director, the kind of things I want to do. He believed in it and he stood behind me. So that for me is the bypass. And that's the thing I need the most. All my life, I've only needed a producer who believes in me. And everyone's already saying this is the great comeback movie. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you went away anywhere, Anurag. I, I, I will not go away. <laughs> yeah. I'll be very hard I'm to I'm relying on you to never go I'm away. I'm a cockroach who will survive a nuclear risk. <laughs> 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 and keep bringing wonderful actors like them yeah. to viewers. Thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck with the film. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. If you like this video, subscribe to Film Companion. We will bring you all that's new and exciting in the movies.